Hello guys, uh, we're just going to keep continuing on. Uh, if you have not watched the last video, then I recommend going ahead and doing that. Because, yeah, that's, uh, the last video shows how we got this in-game. So, yeah. I also want to give you a little bit of a pointer here. Um, just because something is white doesn't mean it has anything not textured on it. Like, if you have textured solid enabled, then when you turn this off, you know, all the material, like the black material and the red emergency exit stuff and, you know, all the way up there will show again. So, yeah, when you just press textured solid, it just shows all the UV textures. And unchecking that will show the materials, like, itself. Like, you know, the black stuff and the, you know. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. So let's say that we were trying to texture something, you know, that wasn't important so say for instance that I wanted to edit the headlights but yeah they don't have a texture to it so my bad uh, on tech I mean so while you're in blender you want to select the headlights by right clicking it well I'm just using the default preferences so yeah you select the headlights or if you can't select an object you're just gonna go right here and expand this tab I wouldn't expand it that much I would probably keep it halfway and then you're gonna expand this way and you will be able to see all the different stuff like the body bake the black stuff the AC switches and all that and then you would just find where headlights are and you would just click on that so once you have those selected go ahead and go to edit mode and you should see something like this where there's just a whole lot of like lines and stuff selected so all the way in this bottom corner you're gonna click this and change it to UV image editor I don't know why my microphone's doing that you're gonna expand this thing right here and there should be a button at the bottom that says open so what you're going to do is you're going to click open and it should give you all this you know it should bring you to your document section remember when i told you to take out all the dds jpgs and stuff like that where you're going to go into the same folder where it's located and you're going to find the texture that you need. One way to check the texture is by going into the pack itself. So since I'm editing a Photon RE, I'm going to go ahead and check the pack. And you can either check in the material file or in the truck file. In this case, since I'm adding it to a flare binding, it'll be in the material file. And when I go search in the material file, it'll say Photon RE Headlights. So I'm going to look for the zero version. Because when it comes to flare bindings, there should be a underscore zero and an underscore one. I recommend always using the zero version. And then you're going to click Open Image. And once you do that, uh, you can press tab again to go back into object mode and there you are there's your headlights also another way to go to edit mode without clicking this thing and keep doing it is to hit tab when your mouse cursor is over the model that way yeah so let's probably say I want to give the brake lights some texture since it's in the material file because it's a flare binding I'm gonna do the same thing go to edit mode go to open 
go to CE or whatever I exported from and I'm gonna look for the PNG that's associated with it either in a material well yeah you're doing the flare bindings so it'll be in a material file um, in this case it's gonna be photon RE backlights and I'm gonna press open image and you can see that they're applied I'm just gonna do this really quick to the reverse light so let me just do a little bit of a speed run okay then I gotta do it for the left turn signal hmm and then the right turn signal so yeah that's how you uh, do flare bindings another way is that if you want to keep if, if you want to make it, it import with the flare bindings I would recommend going l l let me show you what I mean so let's say that I was let's say that I uh, was going back to the step where I put all the PNG files and stuff back there I would create a copy of this PNG and I will paste it making another file and I will just rename it photon RE backlights do not put an underscore zero do not put an underscore one just leave it as that and it should show up like these lights have did because what I think I did for these lights is I did that same thing so l let me just confirm uh, it said photon RE red signal yeah you see what I mean there, I already made a file right here which it says red signal you can see that it's the same PNG file as the underscore zero and the underscore one except that it doesn't have the underscore zero or the underscore one so yeah if let's say uh, what you're looking for is not in the material file let's say you want to apply it to the exterior windows so you're gonna go ahead and go in the pack and you're gonna open the truck file in this case I'm editing 584 so I will open 584 and you're gonna look for the name that corresponds in the truck file so since this says photon RE window ext I'm gonna look in the truck file and what does it say right here photon re window ext so you're gonna go to the right and the first PNG or DDS or JPG file that shows right here after mesh transparent or mesh standard will be the PNG that you're looking for so in this case it will be photon re tinted glass so I will go into edit mode and I will open uh, look for photon RE tinted glass where is it there it is <laughs> my bad and then you would yeah keep in mind that it's not going to be transparent because uh, you know yeah but it, it, that's perfectly normal don't worry about it and let's say I wanted to do the same to the interior so I will go to edit mode open and look where it says for the interior photon RE glass DDS so I'm gonna look for that file and there it is so I just click that open image and oh it is transparent kind of okay that's wow okay so yeah now you guys get the idea so yeah thank you guys for watching this video um, and be sure to look for more in the future um, you know covering this series of how to edit RR mesh files so you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later peace